Hello viewers, a very hearty welcome to this new episode of Enriched Life with Physical Education and Sports through our Marthiodiasis Memorial e-portal. Uh, this is P. Swati Balaji, PGT Physical Education, MGM Senior Secondary School, Sector 6, Bhilai. Today's episode is the sequel of my last presentation which was Yogasanas and Lifestyle Diseases. In today's episode, we are going to know about the yogasanas helpful for hypertension. So first, let us know what hypertension is. Hypertension is the other name given to high blood pressure. The normal blood pressure ranges from 120 by 80 mm of Hg to 125 by 85 mm of Hg. When this range increases, then that condition is considered as hypertension. The causes of hypertension may be more of stress and tension, sedentary lifestyle, wrong and unhealthy eating habits, obesity, etc. Yogasanas along with other uh, remedies are very helpful in curing hypertension. The yogasanas helpful for curing hypertension and preventing hypertension are Tanasan, Bhujangasan, Ardha Chakrasan, Setu Bandhasan, Pavan Muktasan, and Shavasan and lot more. In this episode, today we'll be uh, dealing with the two yogasanas helpful in hypertension, which will be Ardha Chakrasan and Setu Bandhasan. So first, let's know about Setu Bandhasan. As the name consists of two words, Setu and Band. Setu, that means bridge, and Band is construction. Here, because the body takes the shape of a bridge, that's why the name is given to the asan, Setu Bandhasan. In this asan, to perform, one has to lie down in prone on the yoga mat and then slowly breathing in, bend the knee and bring the ankles to the buttock. Then with respective hands, hold both the ankles. Then lift up the buttocks and the abdominal area so that the whole body rests on the head, neck, shoulder and the two feet. This pose is to be held for about 30 seconds or one minute or as capacity. And then come back to the normal condition, normal position of the body uh, and uh, lie down in Shavasana. Just leaving the body loose. This is one repetition of Setu Bandhasana. In the beginning, at least three repetitions should be done and then later on we, uh, the uh, repetitions can be in increased. This asana helps one to keep in uh, control on BP. It improves digestion, helps relax the mind, reduces belly fat, relieves from stress and tension and most importantly it helps to maintain the BP. The contraindications that is the conditions in which this asana should not be performed uh, could be the person suffering from ulcers or hernia should not perform this and the pregnant woman should not perform this asana. The other asana which is helpful in hypertension is Ardha Chakrasana. Ardha Chakrasana consists of the words Ardha 
that means half semi and chakra that is wheel since the body takes the shape of half wheel that's why the name given is ardha chakrasan to perform the sasan the individual has to stand in attention position and then slowly uh, ar- ar- around 2 to 3 inches a uh, gap should be between uh, the two feet and then both palms should be brought near the chest and uh, joined together in the shape of saying namaste and then slowly breathing in both the hands are uh, placed near the uh, above the head where the two arms should touch the ears then very slowly gently uh, the body upper body has to be bent back with the two hands and without bending the knee this posture this position is to be held for about 30 seconds or 1 minute or as capacity and then slowly to the back to the normal position this is one repetition of ardha chakrasan in the beginning at least 3 repetitions should be practiced and then later on as the capacity the repetition could be increased ardha chakrasan is very helpful in improving the lungs capacity it also maintains the blood pressure it cures the respiratory disorders various respiratory disorders it is very effective in reducing the abdominal and thigh fat and of course some contraindications are also there along with the benefits the contraindication says that the person who are having high bp problems or any brain ailments should not perform this asana ardha chakrasana should avoid performing this if any uh, uh, spine problem is there or serious hip problem is there then those individuals should also not perform this setu bandhasan so these two asanas are very helpful in uh, hypertension so we was hoping that this episode of uh, again the enriched life with physical education and sports has really enlightened you about the lifestyle disease hypertension through these two yogasanas so stay tuned for more interesting episodes till then stay safe have a very nice time good day goodbye